Use hashtag Michigan to get your questions on the show. We've got live Q&A Sunday afternoon following the Michigan Citrus Bowl announcement facing the Alabama Crimson Tide. If you're watching this later in the week, no problem. You're going to get a lot of uh, interesting tidbits from this show. This is our Q&A from the YouTube and Facebook live audience as soon as the Michigan Bowl game matchup was set. Let's take a look question from JT. My man, awesome initials there. Will Michigan ever win a meaningful game under Harbaugh? Hashtag Michigan. I, I believe this is overblown, right? This is an overblown sentiment, sentiment from sentiment or sediment? Sentiment from national media, certainly. Michigan football fans, right? Last year in 2018, you win three straight top 15 games against, it uh, might be out of order here, Wisconsin, Michigan State, Penn State. All ranked in the top 15, 16 at the time, right? This year, you beat a top 10 Notre Dame team. You blow them out. I know you lose probably your biggest three games of the year in a lot of ways, two road games, Wisconsin and Penn State. But Jim Harbaugh has had plenty of big wins. You beat the Big Ten champions, Penn State, in 2016. You beat a top 10 Wisconsin team in 2016. So it's overblown that he's not won big or meaningful games, but they just haven't come at the right time, which is the end of the year. One and eight. 0 and five versus Ohio State. One and three in bowl games. One and eight in your final two games of the year. You start, you win half those games, folks. Harbaugh's records are like 12 and one, 11 and two, 11 and two, instead of a lot of tens and threes in there. So I think, valid point, I think this bowl game against Alabama, it's, it's matched up now. I think it's lose lose, but it's a meaningful game to get the perception of the Michigan football program going back to where it needs to be, where it was the first couple of years under Jim Harbaugh. Michigan football sale alerts. Hit that rap horn. <laughs> Got some great sale deals for you guys right now. Chatsports.com slash blue three. Might be able to throw it in the comments section for you if I can get over to you. I'm going to toss these bad boys in there. Chatsports.com slash blue three. That shirt is only $12, folks. 60% off. That's an awesome deal. Got some more deals for you. Michigan football jackets. $32.50. It's 50% off. Already bought this one for a Christmas present myself. Don't miss out. Got this one. It's the Michigan football women's fleece hoodie. But you see the URL there, chatsports.com slash blue. All Michigan football sale items can be found at that URL, chatsports.com slash blue. I'll put it in live chat. I'll put it in the comments below after the, sh the live show is over. Hundreds of items to get discounted up to 50% off this holiday season. Let's keep the questions going with Ross Hickson. Who will transfer out before next season? Now, I'll tell you what, Ross. I was like, I was doing one of these after after the transfer of uh, Jordan Anthony happened and then Josh Uche gone. Like, it's transfer speculation time. It's Yoder season. But you know what? I'm taking a different approach this year, okay? Because I, it's like Michigan face Alabama. I always get them right. But when they don't happen the next day, the blog boys and these guys who are just fake news media who take their, their marching orders from the athletic department – They'll never announce a transfer or anybody going pro. They won't announce actual news until it's, they're given permission. So I think there's at least five candidates I've identified. Look at the 2017 class, see who hasn't gotten the starting lineup yet. Look in the 2018 class, see who's already been passed over by a true freshman. There are your answers. Pretty clear, I think, if you look at the roster, who I'm talking about. So go take a look, Ross. But I'm going to take a new approach this year. I'm not going to announce names, even when I have very, very certified you know, certain information about if a player will transfer or not. Let's take a question from Nick Kaspar. Is this a major hot seat game for both Harbaugh and Saban? Saban, absolutely not. Uh, but Jim Harbaugh, I don't know because I said after the Ohio State loss that what it should be is if you lose this game, Harbaugh, you lose your job no matter who you're playing because you can't go – I don't. Is there another program in the entire country that's lost their season finale and their bowl game four straight years? Currently, I don't think there is. I, I'd be tough to uh, to find a program. It's Michigan always seems to be setting these ridiculous bad records under Jim Harbaugh. Thirty nine straight games without a quarterback throwing three hundred yards. Thirty nine straight games without a wide receiver going over hundred yards. And zero and eight your last two games uh, of the of the season for four straight years. I think is unforgivable personally. So certainly not Saban, although. You heard it here first. I would not be surprised this is Nick Saban's last game coaching at Alabama. Might be a good time to retire. A lot of guys leaving this year. We'll see what happens there. But if you go through the history of Michigan football, if you look at teams and schools that fire coaches, look at John Cooper. I mean, 
he had more, much more success than Jim Harbaugh has had when he was Ohio State's coach versus what Harbaugh's done in Michigan. And he just couldn't win Michigan or win bowl games. And so when it got to the end of his career, he lost a couple bowl games in a row to like South Carolina after a couple of average seasons. They canned him. So I am not a fan of losing bowl games every year. I don't care if it's Alabama. They don't have Tua. If you can't beat Mac Jones, Don Brown, hit the bricks, pal, because you need to go out and take that Boston College assistant defensive coordinator position because you're proven that you can beat up on the little guys. But it comes time to face the big boys. You are a capital B, and that's not for Brown, okay? One word reaction to Michigan's bowl matchup with Alabama. Get it going in the comment section. I'm saying this one. Ah, I typoed it. Damn. There you go. Gosh damn it! That's my, that's my, uh, I think before it was, son of a bitch, right? That was my one word reaction. As long as you don't have spaces, it's one word. My English teacher told me that one time. Let's see a question coming in from Anthony Lasorda. Anthony, one time, uh, 2003, January 1st, 2004, Rose Bowl. I did a beer bar. I did a, uh, what's that called? When you're a keg stand, did a keg stand with your, uh, with your grandpa, Tommy. Michigan. Are we, are we losing, are we keeping Don Brown? I keep saying the hashtag like an idiot. Don't say the hashtag. Are we losing Don Brown or keeping Don Brown? Please say no. Okay, are we keeping Don Brown? Please say no. I'm, I don't know. I, I, I want to just, just go off on Don Brown right now, but you know, I've got to, I've got to hold things in here and, uh, and, and be the, uh, the responsible adult in the, the room of Michigan football fans. I mean, Michigan football fans, the greatest fan base in all of, uh, of sports and, and you don't deserve Don Brown giving up 60 points a year to your arch rival back-to-back years with no, nothing changing in sight. There's no way Michigan holds Ohio State to under 50 next season, right? So I would say no, but I don't know what to expect from Jim Harbaugh sometimes. So I'm going to go out. If I had to bet money on it right now, I would say Don Brown won't be with Michigan's football program coming into the 2020 season. I think he was already kind of on the hot seat internally coming into this season with how bad the team did. You lost two players off your defense to Ohio State. You did two uh, coaches off your defensive staff to Ohio State, Al Washington, uh, Greg Madison. And you didn't replace them with anybody that did any better of a job. And frankly, you could say that the Michigan off defense did worse this year. New head coach, first year quarterback for Ohio State. So I think no will be the answer. And I don't think he'll be fired though. I think if he does leave the program, it'll be one of these like, Don, you've got until January 15th to announce your retirement or announce you're taking another job to be closer to family or something like that. It'll be one of those, but I don't think they'll fire him. Throwing some FBs on there. Fire Don Brown, FDB. Uh, Harbaugh won't fire Don Brown. I don't think that's an option in Harbaugh's mind. But you gotta think about this. He is much closer, he was much closer to Tim Drevno and probably just as close to Pep Hamilton professionally and as friends as he is Don Brown. Now, I know Don Brown's been in for three years, but Tim Drevno had been with Harbaugh for like 12 of the prior 13 seasons till he left the program to take a new job as USC's running backs coach. It's a clear, you know, go find another job so we don't have to publicly fire you thing. So I don't think he's going to publicly call a press conference, walk up and say, we've dismissed Don Brown as our defensive coordinator. What I could think happens is if they, if they shut out Alabama or do something crazy, maybe he comes back. But if, if we get what we all expect, which is a uh, three-star Alabama quarterback backup, putting 40 plus on Michigan, then I think Don Brown about January 14th will all of a sudden just be announced as the defensive coordinator at uh, Maryland or something like that. We'll see what happens though. He won't fire him, but I certainly can see him pushing him out if he thinks he's got a better option. Got another question here from Kevin White. All right, how the hell do we get matched up against Bama? Well, it's a good question. Where'd Auburn end? Did they end up against Minnesota in the outback? So that's kind of a bummer. I was, I'd be much more excited about an Auburn matchup. One, because I think Michigan could beat a full strength Auburn, at least be competitive with them. I don't think they're competitive with a full strength Alabama. Um, I think it just came down to this seemed like a much sexier matchup for uh for uh, the bowl games. The Citrus Bowl gets the, the pick. They don't have to go in order of record or ranking or anything like that. That's what uh, the college football playoff does. And they thought Harbaugh versus Saban, uh, Michigan versus Alabama was probably one of the more intriguing matchups from a national scale. It's it's like 
it's put into juggernauts and at least in the eyes of the general public it's why notre dame probably uh, gets in better bowl games than there that they deserve to most years because they think people will watch if they see that Notre Dame helmet. Same in Michigan, same with Alabama. And uh, I'm kind of bummed because I think it's a lose lose situation for the Wolverines. If, though, you guys disagree with me that Michigan can't even compete with Alabama, go put some money where your mouth is. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code go blue. It's 120% deposit bonus when you use that promo code go blue. Get going. Bet some college football games this year. Put some money on Sunday Night Football, Monday Night Football if you want to. Get get uh, your feet wet this week on, on NFL football. Get ready for bowl season, which starts in a little over 10 days. Chatsports.com slash bet. We're